environmental science subject for triple 3 module 8 b energy and environment lesson 1 lesson 31 b energy conservation part 1 hello learners welcome to our environmental science in a second course of nis in our previous programs we have discussed about what is energy and its non renewable and renewable sources of energy most of our energy comes from fossil fuels like petroleum and coal that provide electricity and gas to power their our growing energy needs. These resources are non-renewable which means that we will be eventually run out. In the modern scenario we have used lots of energy and the question came to our mind we will have to save all natural resources for future generation. Energy is one of the most important natural resource we need to conserve this because conserving energy not only helps to conserve resources but also translates into financial savings. In the 1970s, energy, energy issues were dominated by the oil crisis and the threats of energy security. At the time, environmental issues associated with the production and consumption of energy were yet to gain widespread attention, but later on, environmental issues are among top priorities in private, public and government circle. Excessive energy use and growing exploitation of natural resources have adversely affected our environment. So now come to the objectives of this program, discuss the impact of energy use on environment, explain the importance of energy in daily life, explain the relation between energy and economic development, explain energy conservation with examples, explain how we can improve energy efficiency in industry, describe how we can conserve energy at various levels. First we will discuss impact of energy use on environment. Energy use and supply is of fundamental importance to society which has made the greatest impact on the environment of any human activity. They have now widened to cover regional and global issues such as acid rains and the greenhouse effect. Such problems have now become major political issues and the subject of international debate and regulation. Apart from depletion of energy resources, use of energy especially burning of fossil fuels cause environmental pollution. Burning of fossil fuels emit greenhouse gases that cause global warming. The changing weather patterns due to global warming are now a reality. The impact of global warming has already created an alarming situation and will soon become disastrous for the entire earth, including the living creatures that have made this earth their home. We should be better be cautious and aware to this to save our planet earth. To sum up, therefore, the impact of energy use on the environment has been twofold, depletion of energy resources and pollution of environment from emission of greenhouse gases from burning of fossil fuels. This is all about impact of energy use on environment. Now we will discuss about importance of energy in daily life. In an average home, for almost all type of activities like lightning, cooling and heating, the house for cooking, for running televisions, computers and other electrical devices, energy is used. From the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep at night, energy has affected your life. Energy is important in everyone's life, whether you notice it or not. Without it, people would have a hard time waking up and an even harder time getting anywhere. Energy is important whether it's solar energy, mechanical energy, nuclear energy or the energy your body makes that allows you to talk, move and walk. These are the tasks that we normally do that involve energy and that we could not do without it. When you will probably pass a traffic light on your way to school or off workplace and that is through, uh, powered by electricity, without the traffic light, cars will be going all over the place and crashing all the time. Traffic lights help to manage the chaos. If you walk to go outside, you use the energy your body made from converting calories from food to energy. You might turn on lights in your house when it gets dark. Electricity allows you to light up the room and makes it bright. In the transport sector, buses, trucks, trains, aeroplanes, ships, automobiles are powered by coal, gasoline, diesel and gas. These are fossil fuels and they are over exploitation is causing scarcity. In the agriculture sectors, pump for irrigation run on diesel or electricity 
tractor treasures combined harvester are all fuel intensive in the industrial sector energy is required in huge amount at various stages in the manufacturing of goods energy has been universally recognized as one of the most important inputs for economic growth and human development the energy sector in india has been receiving high priority in the planning process now we will discuss relation between energy and economic development energy development is an integral part of economic development economically developed countries use more energy per unit of economic output and have much more per capita energy consumption as compared to developing country energy has been universally recognized as one of the most important inputs for economic growth and human development growth of economy will stand global competitiveness with the stand only when with it depends on cost effective or cheaper and environment friendly energy resources energy intensity is an indicator to show how efficiently energy is used in the economy india's energy intensity is much higher than the emerging economies of other asian countries energy sector in india has been receiving high priority in the planning process government of india has recognized the fact that the energy sector can become a major cons constraint or hurdle in the achievement of a high growth rate or gross domestic product that is gdp it is therefore called for an increase in the reform process and adoption of an integral energy policy now we will discuss energy conservation at different levels industrial development and modern means of transport and various types of gadgets require increasing amount of energy fossil fuels are universally the main source of energy which are finite and non renewable it is necessary to prevent wastage of energy and make all our efforts for energy conservation we shall fail in our duty if energy sources are exhausted we owe our responsibilities to burst the next generation energy conservation must become an everyday duty of every human beings since our effort are needed at individual community and at government level for energy conservation the in every country residential demand constitute major part of total energy used when comparing an average home to our energy efficient house it is possible to reduce annual energy bills up to 40% we should develop an energy conservation plan for our house this is both an environment friendly and economically sound action first we will discuss energy conservation at household level the step in developing an energy conservation plan for our home are can be or can be identify the problem areas where energy is being lost or inefficiently used to prioritize the problem areas according to how much energy is being lost or inefficiently used and systematically correct the prioritize problems according to the limits of our household energy improvement budget apart from lights and fans several other household appliances have flooded in market a cautious operation and the use of good quality electrical appliances that is five star rating not only enhance their life but also save energy some energy conservation activities are mentioned later in this program major appliances for domestic use large appliances are the major consumer of energy and improving the operating efficiency of such household appliances will significantly reduce the overall consumption of electricity first we will talk about refrigerator condenser is found either behind the fridge or underneath the fridge and helps in maintaining its lower temperature we can conserve energy while using refrigerator by some ways it should be maintained at 37 degree fahrenheit to 40 degree fahrenheit and freezer section at 500 degree fahrenheit and should have automatic moisture control we should keep the fridge as full as possible and it should be kept in the position that its outside surface is not exposed to direct sunlight if the door of the fridge is not closed properly it will much more energy uncovered liquids should not be put in the refrigerators as it will give extra workload to the compressor before putting food in the refrigerator 
it should be cooled up to room temperature door of the fridge should not be opened several times next is oven or microwave oven to conserve energy while using ovens we should keep in mind we should use microwaves as they consume 50% less energy than conventional ovens a oven door should not have any cracks or tears in it we should use lids on cooking to permit temperature overheating keep reflector pans beneath stove top heating element bright and clear carefully measure water used for cooking to avoid having to heat needed begin cooking on highest heat until liquid begins to boil then lower the setting and allow food to simmer until fully cooked one should cook as much of the meal in the oven at one time as possible rearrange oven shelves before turning your oven on and do not peep in oven every time the oven is open temperature is lowered by 4 degree to 5 degree centigrade when preheating an oven for baking time the preheat period carefully minutes should be sufficient for large items stove top cooking is more sufficient especially with gas next is ironing every day we iron our clothes it consumes approximately 1000 watt energy which is a huge amount we can save energy by ironing clothing in bulk and not just one or two at a time ensure that the thermostat on the iron is working and set the right temperature for the clothing being ironed next is cooking major part of energy is consumed during cooking it can be saved during cooking by using all these measures use a cooking pan that is slightly bigger than your cooker plate coil or burner keep saucepan lids on turn down the heat once food start boiling washing machine consume 20% of the electricity energy can be save conserved during the use of washing washing machine in the following ways we should try to use cold water while working and rinsing as almost 90% of the energy consumed by washing machine is used to heat the water for follow detergent instructions carefully adding too much detergent for effective working action may require more energy wash only full loads of clothing but do not overload machine soak or prewash the clothes for effective cleaning as well as to reduce energy consumption increasing energy demand the world over and the ever increasing prices of energy have provided a justifiable reason for improving energy efficiency of all energy intensive technologies some methods of saving energy during lighting can are as lighting light should be turned off when not in use maximum sunlight should be used during the day bulbs and tube light should not be used during day use task lighting whenever possible instead of brightly lighting lighting an entire area or room use compact fluorescent lamps cfl in place of incandescent bulbs or tungsten bulb a 23 watt compact fluorescent bulb can replace a 90 or 100 watt use dim light in galleries lobbies balconies etc do not keep computer tv tape recorder music system in standby mode do you know that how much electricity you can conserve by turning off the tv instead of keeping it on standby you can save 70 kilowatt hour per year geysers consume the maximum amount of electricity thermostat can be set off set to a lower temperature that is 45 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade lamp should be put in those corners of the room where they can reflect many light surfaces instead of one use dimmable bulbs whenever possible with the growing awareness about the depletion of global energy reserves and adverse environmental impact of energy use now efforts are underway to develop energy efficient machines and technologies to reduce energy expenditure and to minimize environmental hazards some some steps can be taken use isi marked appliances and equipments substitute bulbs with tungsten filament lamps cfl and led should be used as they are they use comparatively less in electricity and last longer 
electric geyser can be replaced by gas geyser to save energy. Some other methods by which energy can be saved are adjust the flame of cooking gas appliances so that the flame remains blue not red or yellow. Shut down computers when not in use. Select appliances with time limited shut off switches. Replace aging old appliances, TV, VCRs and record players when needed with energy efficient models. A huge amount of energy is wasted in cooling. Some cooling measures can be taken to conserve energy. We should open windows at night to bring cool air inside. Windows should be closed during daytime. West facing windows should be shaded. A whole house fan can be used to draw cool night air into the house and evaporative cooler should be installed. Use room air conditioning only where needed and install energy efficient models. Cooling in air conditioned house, houses should be maintained at 25 degree Fahrenheit. Regular cleaning of filter in air conditioning systems and cleaning of condenser conserve energy. So this is all about energy conservation at household level. Energy conservation is a very sensitive issue throughout the world in a society where money and especially saving of financially advantageous options are available to us. We should follow some measures to reduce energy consumption. Now we will discuss about how can we conserve energy at community level. All necessary lights should be turned off especially when conference room etc are not in use. Energy usage should be minimized during peak demand hours. Set computers, monitors, photocopiers and other business equipments to their energy saving mode. Turn them off during long idle hours that, such as lunch breaks. Skylight should be used for warehouses. Ensure that offices having air conditioning have proper windows and all doors are closed when the air conditioner is in use. Alternative resources that is renewable energy resources should be used in place of non-renewable energy resources. Energy audits of home, buildings, hotels and Factories should be done at regular interval. Demonstrating a project involving the introducing of appropriate renewable solar technologies at the community level like solar farms for water purification and irrigation of lawns, playgrounds, gardens, community centers as well as solar energy for cooking and heating should promote it. Projects involving wind generated energy for com community and municipal needs should be demonstrated to the whole community. Demonstration of biogas programs is also required to tell people for the efficient use of it. Collaborative community or academic research and development in order to produce low cost sustainable energy option should be given priority. Environment friendly public transport system should be promoted to reduce the use of individual motorized transport for a single purpose minimum number of vehicles should be used it will be also helpful in reducing carbon dioxide emission. We require energy for all kinds of work, cooking, lightning, cooling, transportation, etc. But often the amount of energy which we use in comparatively much less than the amount of energy which is wasted. As the energy sources are fast depleting, it is necessary for us to save energy at the community level used. Installation of photoelectric control or timers should be used to make sure that Outdoor lighting is sufficient during the day. Open area or yard areas, lightings should be switched off after sunrise and again switched on only after sunsets. Tube lights in common areas and staircase. Landing should be reduced and twin tu uh, tube light should be replaced by one tube light. Number of electrical lighting points could be reduced to one point per room. All additional fittings may be removed permanently or switched off. Elevators or lift should be used for going up beyond three floors and for coming down uses of lifts may be reduced. Whenever two elevators or lifts are provided in a building, only single should be operated during non-peak hours. Do not allow children to play with elevators. Environmentally sustainable transport will promote more mileage less pollution by GSC gases. Water pumps should be switched off during non-peak utility hours. 
conservation and sustainable use of water bodies including watershed, river barriers and coastal zones will be helpful in the energy conservation at community level. Training program about energy efficient repairs should be organized to conserve energy at community level. Advocacy to remove subsidies to inefficient and polluting sources of energy should become essential. Locally manufactured improved cook stoves should be introduced to reduce charcoal fuel consumption. Energy consumption is the practice of decreasing the quantity of energy used. It may be achieved through efficient energy use, in which case energy use is decreased by achieving a similar outcome or by reduced consumption of energy services at different places such as factories, business centers, transportation sector and construction activities, it can be saved by the for several ways. At factories and business centers, including shops, we can audit. First, we will take auditing. Regular monitoring and audit of energy consumption results in energy conservation. Second is process modification means replacement of old and more energy consuming processes by the new energy efficient processes. Old factories should now employ process modification. Third is improve measuring instruments. We can use new technologies and energy efficient instrument and processes to conserve energy. Next is energy loss reduction. A lot of energy is wasted every day. We can re reduce energy loss by using several methods. Measures, for example, thermal insulation of fuel tanks can be done. Next is light load reduction. A significant amount of energy can be saved by reducing light loads. Bulbs has been replaced by tube lights. Nowadays, CFLs and LEDs have proved very helpful in reducing needs for lighting purposes. Transportation includes all vehicles used for personal or freight transportation. Do you know of the energy used in this sector? Approximately 65% of consumed by gasoline powered vehicle primarily personally owned diesel power transport that is train merchant ship heavy trucks etc consume about 20% and air traffic consumes most of the 15% conservation in transport sector energy can be conserved in transportation by two ways reduction of fuel consumption fuel economy maximizing behavior use public transportation as much as possible instead of using own vehicle Car speed should be maintained as far as possible, 50 to 60 km per hour. Do not use choke unless necessary. When choke is used, put it off as soon as engine is wound up. If there is a starting trouble, press clutch to start the engine. Avoid free frequent starts and stops to reduce fuel consumption. Release clutch pedal gradually and simultaneously press accelerator to racing and or jerking. Never race engine when declutched, declutched fully when changing gears on clutch pedal because this increases clutch wear and fuel consumption. Do not run on handbrake and preferably install a warming light device. Apply brakes gradually as far as possible. Anticipate need for braking. Switch to lower gears on gradient at the right time. All these will be helpful in reducing fuel consumption. If possible, it is always better to live near workplace. Next is fuel economy that is and maximizing behavior. Fuel economy maximizing behavior describes techniques that driver can use to optimize their automobile fuel economy. The energy in fuel consumed in driving is lost in many ways including engine inefficiency, aerodynamic drag, rolling friction and kinetic energy lost due to braking. Modern driving, driving at lower speed, using cruise control and maintains CD speed by the driver. Turning off a vehicle engine at stops rather than idling, a vehicle gas, vehicle's gas mileage decreases rapidly at highway speed, normally above 55 miles per hour. Before we wrap up, we would like to recap the main points, that is what we have learned. Impact of energy use in environment, impact of energy use in daily life. The relations between energy and development are important. The concept of energy conservation and how it could be saved at various levels as we have discussed in detail. 
different new energy efficient devices and technology should be used to conserve energy methods of conservation of energy at individual and community levels and industri at industries dear learners this is all about to energy conservation part 1 we will come again to meet you with a new program of environmental science thank you घर बैठे पाए राष्ट्रीय मुक्त विद्यालय शिक्षा संस्थान यानी एन में एडमिशन वो भी एकदम आसान तरीके से जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को होगी समय और धन दोनों की बचत एन से शिक्षा कभी भी कहीं भी शिक्षार्थियों क्या आप जानते हैं एन में एडमिशन लेने का सरल और सुगम तरीका जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को ऑनलाइन प्रवेश लेने में सहूलियत मिलती है एन में प्रवेश की प्रक्रिया पूर्णतया ऑनलाइन है शिक्षार्थी घर बैठे इंटरनेट द्वारा प्रवेश के लिए सबसे पहले एन की वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर लॉगिन करें अपना ईमेल आईडी और पासवर्ड डालकर अपना पंजीकरण करें पंजीकरण के बाद लॉगिन करने पर ऑनलाइन प्रवेश हेतु आवेदन पत्र को लेगा आवेदन पत्र को निर्देशानुसार भरें और प्रिंट आउट ले इस प्रिंट आउट पर अपनी फोटो संलग्न करें ऑनलाइन प्रवेश के लिए शुल्क हेतु भुगतान के तरीके हैं क्रेडिट कार्ड के द्वारा डेबिट कार्ड के द्वारा राष्ट्रीकृत बैंक के ड्राफ्ट के माध्यम से जो कि सचिव एन नई दिल्ली या नोएडा के पक्ष में देय हो भरे हुए आवेदन पत्र के साथ साथ डिमांड ड्राफ्ट और संलग्न किए जाने वाले दस्तावेज हैं जन्म रजिस्ट्रार के जिला कार्यालय से जारी जन्म प्रमाण पत्र की सत्यापित प्रति जिसमें जन्म तिथि अंकित हो पिछले विद्यालय से प्राप्त विद्यालय छोड़ने का प्रमाण पत्र जिसमें आवेदक की जन्म तिथि लिखी हो प्रवेश फॉर्म का प्रिंट आउट एन के संबद्ध क्षेत्र केंद्रों पर 10 दिनों में पहुंच जाना चाहिए अन्यथा उचित दस्तावेज ना लगे होने पर आवेदन फॉर्म रद्द किया जा सकता है प्रवेश प्रक्रिया की पुष्टि होने के बाद शिक्षार्थियों को परिचय पत्र व अध्ययन सामग्री डाक द्वारा तुरंत पहुंचाई जाती है ऑनलाइन प्रवेश एक बहुत ही सुगम और सुविधाजनक प्रवेश प्रणाली है ऑनलाइन ऑन टाइम फॉर सेफ एंड सिक्योर एडमिशन